Howdy. We start off with a screenshot or however you want to call it about an elderly video. SO2 emissions quakes lakes ultra cryptodomes Mount Valamara. Mount Valamara is somewhere here. And it is considered to have Mars on top of it. And Mars are volcanic features. Maybe one day I can tell you the story about why Mount Valamara got so important to me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the reason why I talk about SO2 emissions and Mount Valamara is following. There has been a quake, not on Mount Valamara, but also not too far away from it. Here's the quake, here's another quake, and here is Mount Valamara. 4.35 hours ago, depth was 33 kilometers, 36. And 2.9 at 93 kilometers. Now let's have just a quick look at Mount Valamara. There are several lakes. And they're not all the same. And there are these kind of, however you want to call them, wet patches. And everywhere you see green. I think there is water pouring out of the mountain. And these are still these black lakes. There, there is somewhere a different colored lake. If it's a lake. I don't know, maybe it's just drained. But there are some here. Yeah, I would say that's radically different from the other ones. <laughs> For comparison. But anyway, quake activity near Mount Valamara. So now let's check out the SO2 emissions. There doesn't seem to be too much of SO2 emissions in the region. I found Mount Valamara originally because I saw there was a red plume of SO2 in the area of the mountain. Huh. Yeah, usually SO2 is related to volcanic activity. And on Windy, I don't think it's possible. They don't tell you mountain names or something. I don't know where exactly it is. It doesn't really matter after all. Because there isn't too much SO2. Let's zoom still as far out as we possibly can. This is the most I can zoom out. And there is some SO2 coming in from the other side of the Atlantic. Now let's go back to the beginning of this time lapse and let me show you something. Check this out. <laughs> Whoa, that's an SO2 cloud. That's very big. And not only is it very big and it moves towards America, Northern America, but also I'm not exactly sure what's the origin of that. Is it Kamchatka? Did it come from here? Where Where is this originating? Because for comparison, if we go just a little bit down here, if it works. This could be Popocatepetl, maybe. It might be Mexico City. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it is. 
Ne bi da ispao boka te petlje. But compare the size of that volcanic eruption site, or if it's just Mexico, I don't know, Mexico City, it's very small compared to this. And if we just push play the yellow line here, what you can see down here for those who don't know, that's the actual moment. So everything you see here now still is from the past. And this is spreading into Northern America. And that's rather much SO2. Now let's put pause. And zoom into this if we can. There should be there should be something visible, but it's not no waves or whatsoever. So I don't know. Is there something going on in the seas there? Let's go over to Google Earth because this seems to be rather stationary. And it, no, no, it, yeah, that's a forecast, so it might be untrue. This might be still true because it's not too far, it's just a few hours. But that's massive. That's huge. This will have effects on weather and stuff like that. So now let's go over to Google Earth and see if there's anything visible. Approximately in the middle of that arc here, Alaskan Kamchatka arc, Ring of Fire. And if you want to see something on the seafloor, I recommend you first to go to National Data Buoy Center. Because they have these maps where you can see the seafloor. And in a way, it seems that where this buoy is, which is not working, uh, there seems to be the, the origin, maybe, of that ash plume. Yeah, there would be several candidates. So these are still three and a half or four thousand meters below the surface. But nonetheless, there are mountains compared to the surroundings. Chinook through uh, Chinook salmon. Yeah, maybe there is something going on somewhere there. Emperor throw where it's very deep, eight thousand six hundred thirty one meters and four thousand four hundred meters. So there's four thousand meters between the valley bottom and this mountain beside it. Would be probably quite a sight if you could see it. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know where this massive SO2 plume originates or, or originated. Yeah. But that's massive. <laughs> it's as big as the States. Yeah, bad weather incoming. Maybe acid rain and stuff like that. No good. I just happened to notice this today. And since I haven't seen anyone talking about this, I thought I'd tell you. Maybe you can do something with this information. Cover your plants in the yard or something. Yeah, but where is that from? It has to come from somewhere. <laughs> That's interesting. Yes, I think I leave it here. Thanks.